Hi everybody! Welcome back to Sherry Tries That. Or welcome if you're new to my channel. Today I'm going to try a Christmas craft that is quick, easy, and not very expensive. Everything that I'm going to be using for this craft I got at the dollar store. It is a snow globe in a mason jar. Come along with me as we give it a try and let's see how this turns out. All right, we have got one mason jar tag taken off. And the first thing we're gonna do is just give it a little clean to make sure that there aren't any fingerprints or smudges on the inside. Because once you fill that thing up with your snow, Uh, you can't really get in to clean it so just give it a quick clean you can always clean the outside if need be but not so much the inside okay if you want to paint the mason jar cover this would be the time to do it um, I'm actually good with mine being silver so I'm gonna leave it but if you wanted to paint it, spray paint it, you know, matte black, uh, white, gold, this would be the time to do it, then set it aside and let it dry. Since I'm not going to, I can go ahead and start gluing things to it. What I chose was uh, this set of street lights with wreaths on them, and they come with their own uh, little lights and battery pack. This was from Dollarama and 325 for the two. You can't really separate these two because they're attached to the same battery pack. Um, I mean, you could detach one by cutting the wires, but then you can't use it with the lights. I, I knew that when I bought it and I have a plan. We'll see if my plan is going to work. I'm planning to use them both, but I want to see how it looks first. Just love it when I have to unravel things first before I can use them. It's probably not as bad as it looks. All right. I'm also going to put the batteries in right now to make sure that they work, that the lights work. I was hoping that this one would be on a timer, but it's not. It's just an on off switch. I'm going to get batteries. I'll be right back. A few moments later. Ha <laughs> ha. It looks like one is working and one is not. So maybe that's making the decision for me. Actually, if you look into it, it does look there's like there's a little light in there, but I don't, oh. I believe what has happened is that on this one, the bulb has broken off and slipped down inside. So that takes care of that decision. Darn. Okay, well, I hope I don't get electrocuted by cutting these wires. I did not get electrocuted. Yay! 
Now for the battery pack, you can glue it to the bottom here so that it's always with it and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure exactly where this is going to go yet uh, and what's going to be around it. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting this on my mantle with greenery around it uh, and then I will nestle this into the greenery so it can't be seen. Okay. But uh, the other thing I could do, as I said, is um, glue that to the bottom. Actually, if you glue it to the bottom, because of the on-off switch, it's not going to sit flat. So I would suggest that you just plan to hide this and leave it loose. Okay, what we're going to do now is glue this <laughs> to the bottom of the lid. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that this mason jar has the word mason. Let's see if you can see that, <laughs> you know, written on one side. And a lot of the mason jars have something on one side of it, a decoration or wording, what have you. Uh, and you don't want that to be where your design is going to be seen. Um, the light that I chose definitely has a right side because the wreath is on one side and not on the other. Okay. So we want it to be showing through the right side, the correct side. Now, whatever glue or epoxy you use for this, um, you want to make sure that it's going to be okay uh, when touched by water. And center it. And of course, you can have more than one thing if you've got the room uh, in your lid for it. Um, I know one year I had a smaller street sign and I had a little bench and it looked really, it looked really cute together. Um, so it depends on how big your mason jar is and how small your little decor pieces are. So I'm going to set that aside and let that glue dry for a few minutes before we continue. While that is drying, we will get our mason jar ready. The best thing to use is distilled water uh, because it's less likely to rust the uh, inside of the lid. And I don't think I brought enough with me. No. A few moments later. You do not want to fill your mason jar completely. You want to allow for the disbursement of some of the water by your, uh, in this case, my lamp post. Uh, and you also want to leave enough room that you can shake it uh, to get the snow going. I think I can do a bit more than that. Now, the other thing that you would like to add, if you can, is some glycerin. What that does is it makes the water a little more dense and slows down the drifting of the glitter um, so that it looks more like snow falling and um, you know just kind of prolongs the action of the snow. If you don't have glycerin, which I do not, you can use 
mineral oil or baby oil or clear glue. I have clear glue so I'm going to put some of that in. I don't really know how much so I'm just going to do a little bit. Um, and with glycerin or anything else, don't put in too much because if you put in too much, um, it will make it sort of glumpy, if that's a word. Um, okay, now we're going to put in the glitter. If you can find tinsel glitter, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But tinsel glitter are not round speckles. They're sort of um, rectangles, very, very thin, small rectangles, but uh, they're rectangles. Now I'm going to put in my glitter. And how much you put in depends on how much snow you want. Okay, let's see if this is... Nope. Let's try that. This is not going to stick. I'm going to stir this up a bit, see if I can... tell how much more I want. Seems a bit clumpy. This glitter is not new. I don't think that's it though. I think it just really needs to be stirred. Oh, that looks so pretty! don't know if you can see it, but I definitely want more than that. So we'll put some more in. Another snow globe that I think I'd really like to make, if I can find the right things, um, it's a little fir tree and a little deer, you know, that, that they're the right size in relation to each other. I think that would be so pretty. Okay, let's get this. A bit more. Oh, that's nice. I believe I had a snow globe when I was younger. I think it was, you know, the plastic kind that um, somebody gave me from a trip. Probably my parents or gonna say my grandparents but I don't really remember my grandparents traveling anywhere um, but not not a true like snow globe um, you know with the with the big glass dome and, and that kind of thing not like that but I think I had one of the plastic ones Okay, I think this is ready to go. Nope. Okay, the glue that I have chosen is just not working. I actually am going to try nail glue. Uh, I did read that um, you might want to scuff up this part uh, with some sandpaper so that the glue really has something to stick to and that's probably a good idea. I don't know how long it would take me to find sandpaper so I am going to try nail glue.
A few moments later. When I went to get the nail glue, I thought, what is an emery board but a little bit of sandpaper? So I'm going to see if I can rough it up. Oh, yes. So I'm going to... Yes, that scratches it up a bit. That roughs it up. Good, good. But I'm still going to use the nail glue. Hopefully, between these two things, this will work. Give that a minute to sit. I'm going to hold it down, give it its best possible chance. So, when do you start decorating for Christmas? I normally wait until December 1st, but I did want to start some Christmas videos to give folks lots of time to get things and try things if you're inspired by any of my videos to try a new craft or recipe or whatever I have coming up. Yeah, that works so much better. Okay. Now Apparently I glued the outside too. Okay. Okay, so on this side, I've got the lettering for the mason jar. So that's, I wanna make sure that I put my decoration and that's, That's the side that I want to be showing out. So if you remove this from the lid, you know, the inside piece of the lid, you can place this the way you want it. So I want it going there. Now, you're going to put the battery pack through the opening of the lid. Whoops, whoops. The lid should still be able to screw on even with the wires coming through. You do want to make sure you get it on tightly though because it's full of water and you're about to turn it over. Okay, here's our test. Okay, this needs some more water in it, so we're going to turn it back over take it apart and put more water in. And I think maybe a bit more snow.
Oops. Okay. So the mason part is facing me. So I want the wreath on my street light to be facing away the opposite side. Hold on to the wires while you screw on the top. What did you think? Did you like how it turned out? And more importantly, is this something that you think you might try? There are all kinds of different things that you can get to put in the mason jar for the snow globe. You know, you can use little trees, you can use little, you know, park benches, you can use, um, you know, a, a little mailbox that says mail for Santa. You can use a little North Pole sign. These are all things that I actually saw in the dollar store when I was shopping for this craft. Uh, there are lots of different ways to make this and you know you can choose things to put in it that um, you know kind of speak to you or, or maybe have meaning for you. So if you decide to try this, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you have done one or, um, you know, if you try it after watching this, let me know how it turned out. Uh, I would love to hear. Thank you so much for joining me on Sherry Tries That. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.